I keep thinking about the Casey and Vicky case, and uh, I want to share a few a few things more about about Vicky. Hi, I'm Gary, and this is Swim. I, I don't know you, what do you think, but um, okay, it's all right to have this psychological analysis. It's necessary, but it is not the totality of a situation. And uh, in, in Vicky's case, for me, in, in my personal point of view, I don't want to leave it as only mental illness, as a illegal action, which it is, and it was. I remember the late poet Octavio Paz in a book entitled The Double Flame where he talks about love that book entirely talks about the mysteries of love and um, Octavio Paz writes that love is sexuality but it isn't just sexuality that love is lust, but it isn't just lust. That love is tenderness, but it isn't just tenderness. That love is to care one another, to give, but it isn't only that. Love is a very mysterious feeling. And personally, I find it kind of rather disrespectful to leave this case just in a psychological realm where everybody is tagged. You have this mental illness. You, your actions were driven by lust, by error by faults. Yes, maybe that's true, but how many of all of us haven't been drawn by this kind of love, this mixture of lust, need, need to receive love, and the need to give love. And uh, I, I offer Vicky an apology. And I ask to the King of the Universe, the Creator, for forgiveness for me if in some way I was disrespectful to her and forgiveness for her indeed it's a very delicate situation to take your own life but who are we to judge and uh, maybe maybe those last moments, those, those last hours, days, were uh, indeed the most intense, but uh, those days near death were maybe the ones that gave her the pinnacle 
of being alive. Again, I'm not motivating anyone to, to do these kind of things because it's, it's, it's very sad and we, we must fight and struggle to not enter that, that phase of our feelings but yes analysts said that uh, Vicky was the one that uh, planned everything that it wasn't Cassie but this is something very very interesting very important Vicky in um, let's say in the ancient mystic knowledge and wisdom of the Kabbalah, of the real Kabbalah, we can say that Vicky Vicky's force was the masculine side of her. I'm not saying that she wasn't a woman, no. Everybody, each one of us, have masculine forces and feminine forces. And we must look for an equilibrium of both. It doesn't have to do anything with, 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 with gender or with your... Um, sexual preference or no it doesn't have to do anything with it and Vicky came to plan everything Vicky wanted to give love and she gave it and there's another element and in a Kabbalistic way of analyzing this case Cassie was in this case using or behaving in his feminine side, the passive one. Vicky was and had a driven force and uh, not only Casey was in prison, Vicky was imprisoned too. And indeed she was captivated by, the, by this image that she made from Cassie, from Casey. Psychology, psychology doesn't know anything about the soul and the souls. It is useful, but it doesn't get in death thing, it, 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 it doesn't get to the root of the human behavior. And sometimes the mystic wisdom can help us. But we must remember that love is a plethora of things, of, of feelings, of thoughts, of cultures. We are influenced by movies, art, novels, I'm actually, I'm, I'm reading, rereading the 19th century novels and uh, the subject is always being bored of life and uh, try to play with love, play love games that in reality are power games. There is no love there, there is lust, but the culture of that time permeates in, in the human soul and the soul feeds from art, from say, sensations, from experiences. 
But we have another soul, so to speak. The other souls, the other soul, it's very complex, but we have a higher soul called the Neshama. And that part of our soul wants to return to the creator of the universe. But if we are in a low level of our soul, so-called this other soul, we tend to walk and to act within our animal part of being. Part of achieving the higher soul, the higher part of our soul is this contact with the higher power. So, in our thoughts, maybe unconsciously, we want to give because the Savior gave himself for the world. Because we are taught to help the other ones. Our neighbor, our peers. And to love. But we have a confusion about what is to love in a correct way. But anyway... There's a beautiful romantic element, but I, I, I don't want to. I, I didn't want to say the word romantic in a disrespectful way. No, no, no. On the contrary, Vicky was in prison, and Casey Casey's image gave her the chance to release him in her point of view and release herself and one one thing i noticed in my point of view is that everybody felt sad about casey even her boss, uh, sorry, even her boss wasn't harsh with her. This, this man seems a good man. But I feel not very comfortable with the psychologist's analysis. The majority of them are have this element of irony of uh, being sarcastical and that's that's really hurtful that is uh, not very considerate but well we have to understand these doctors too the the majority of them are not connected with the higher power and that is also sad. And if we are going to tag everyone, each of us, with psychological terms, are we a psychological term? We are very, very more, more, more that, uh, that just a mental analysis. I would like to share with you this word. For Vicky, Vicky, I think that her name is Victoria, Victory, Casey, the case, the case of Victory, Victory's case, Casey, 
and white. <clears throat> the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your wrath and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cups runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <clears throat> 